see everybody in here and Papa sit in front of the chicken yard and something really fantastic happened earlier this morning. I woke up to the sounds of, well, listen to this. Yeah, I decided to just go ahead and put the phone down because I needed to go get some chicken feed. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Tyson began crowing this morning. So I don't know, maybe the barred rock, little little chicken? Maybe that's not a rooster at all. Um, I don't know if there's a difference in how quickly different kinds of roosters mature, but I don't know, maybe I just got one rooster? Who knows, we're gonna find out though. I was so happy when I, when I heard that this morning. I'm like, I heard Romeo crow. And then I heard this little baby crow, and I'm like, that's awesome. So I need to go take a look over in the front of that van and see if I can make some more room. Look at all this. So dusty. Most of this stuff I haven't even looked at in probably a year or so. Unless it's something I really, really need a lot, I'm going to be getting rid of almost everything. There, it's cleaned out. Oh my goodness, so, so dirty and dusty. I took the seat covers off. Um, phew, a lot of memories cleaning out this stuff. And I did go ahead and sit on this seat. And it just brings back a lot of good memories about living and working out of this van. It was so much fun, you guys. I just, I really miss it. But it's a van coop now. So now I got to figure out how to get these seats out. Trash, trash. Oh, look, look at these stripper boots. Yeah, I don't think I'll be wearing those. These are my Harley Davidson official Harley Davidson boots. Why I have them in here and I haven't been wearing them, as you can see, that sole has come. Oh, I can't do this with two hands, it's come off. So, I'm gonna see if I can clean these up, get some rubber adhesive and see if I can get this to stick so I can start wearing them again. That bag is kind of dirty on the other side, but I can clean it up. Inside is my DoorDash bag and it's in good condition, so I'm gonna hold on to that in case I need a DoorDash fan. That bag is full of Christmas decorations, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. Look at, I found my fishing poles and my fishing pole holder and my bank pole that I made. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I use that in the Danny Boone National Forest over here that pine cone I'm saving it forever because it just it was the first pine cone I found at the Daniel Boone National Forest and I had such a good time there it was a life a life-changing time for me uh let's see some kind of charger I don't know what it's to but I probably need it that inverter blew a fuse or two um it's not a pure sign inverter so it's not a very good one it's not like the one that uh, the refrigerator is hooked up to but I might be able to get it going with those fuses I found in an old burnt up inverter that's over there. So I may be able to get this going and hook it up to the outside little solar thing I got set up. That's an old butane cooktop. That's the one I initially had. Little piece of wood, I think I used that like as a kitchen countertop, so I'm gonna clean that up. Oh, the door hangers. So yeah, I think I can use at least one of those. Another fan and some pebbles and some biochar, so I'm gonna keep that. Because uh, I need to make another filter very soon. Uh, nursing bag. Yeah. <sighs> There's lots of stuff in there I can still use. So I'm going to hang on to that. Just got to find a place for them. It's not going to be in the tiny house. Probably get a big box and cover it with a, one of those big garbage cans. Garbage bags. And uh, just store it all in there. 
those seats are going to be nearly impossible to get out. I'm going to have to have some help. So I'm going to ask for help getting those out. But in the meantime, I want to give these chickens more room right away. So I have a temporary solution. I opened the door, but all the chickens are back here. Checking it out. Romeo's over there. Let me see if I open it. If they'll rush out. What do you think, Romeo? Hopefully somebody will go lay in that box over there. I got plenty of bedding. Eventually, uh, of course, I want the seats out, steering wheel out, all the pedals out, uh, the dash, everything out, and maybe even take the windshield out and put some hardware cloth up there. Who knows? But at least they have a few more feet of room. I don't know. This is the most half, you know what, chicken coop modification I have ever seen. But the only reason why I did this is because they're gonna poop and pee all over the place in here, like chickens do. And um, I didn't want it to start smelling, you know, right away, if you know what I mean. So even though I'm gonna be getting rid of these, I'm not trying to really protect them. I just don't want all that gross stuff. So I covered them with heavy duty garbage bags. Here it is from this angle. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're already checking it out. I don't know, what do you think? It'll last just for a little while. We'll see. I am so hot and dirty after all that. I mean, and, and stinky. So I'm gonna show you what I have to go through to take a shower. First thing I gotta do is filter a bucket of water. That's got a little bit in it. This is full from the rainwater. So yeah, let me just put them together. Now I gotta get my nice clean bucket. Come in here. Gotta grab the water filter. Stay on lid, stay on lid. Plop it down and filter that into there. I'll have to fill this up twice to get me actually five gallons, but I don't always filter the water. This water comes out really, really clean, but that's captured rainwater and it had little particles in it, little bugs, stuff like that. And I don't want that in my shower head or on my body. While that's filtering, I just have to get everything out of here and put the bath mats down. I gather everything I need for my shower, my towel, my hand pump, clean clothes, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. And I sit it right here. Oh, water is done filtering. Now I just got to carry it all the way over there. Water pump is in. My little scrubber is hanging from this little hook. Got my shampoo and conditioner. I use that board and just put it down there and put the mat over the top of it because I didn't like, you know, stepping through those little slats. Just in case my battery dies on my pump, I bring a little red cup and that works just fine. I hang my towel up from another one of these hooks and remember, that's from the hanging rack. They were extra clips. It holds that towel nice and tight. All I gotta do now is take a shower. It's gonna feel great. Did I mention it's cold water? <laughs> oh gosh, it feels so good today. Oh my goodness. I hang everything up to dry, put everything back the way it was, and it is now an outhouse. So I gotta go through a couple days of fuzzy hair. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really, br I mean, I brushed it, but I haven't brushed it since it's dried. Anyhow, that's how I take a shower. And I ain't gonna lie, that felt great. I don't even care that the water was freezing cold. Oh, it just feels good to be clean and, you know, get the spank off you if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.